Do you solemnly swear and affirm that the testimony that you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Thank you. You can be seated. Without objection, your written statements. Ms. O'Brien, on Friday, uh, October the 28th, 20, 2011, MF Global transferred uh, $200 million from the uh, segregated customer accounts to the house account and then subsequently uh, sent $175 million of money from the house account to the MF Global UK uh, account to cover an overdraft. Uh, as you're aware, in December, uh, Mr. Corzine testified here that uh, you assured him that those transfers complied with the CFTC rules about customer segregation. Reportedly, uh, you, 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 you dispute Mr. Corzine's uh, testimony. So let me ask you today, Ms. O'Brien, did you give Mr. Corzine assurances that the farmers and ranchers' money that was in MF Global's uh, a, account, the, the uh, uh, segregated accounts, did, did you give him assurances that that money uh, was not their money? On the advice of counsel, I respectfully decline to answer based on my constitutional rights. There was an article in, uh, I think it was today's Wall Street Journal, maybe yesterday's, uh, that uh, stated that you uh, are trying to negotiate an immunity with um, federal investigators, and I'm just curious if that article was accurate or inaccurate. I'm not asking about anything that happened at MF Global or anything about, but I'm simply asking, is that news report uh, an accurate report or not? On the advice of counsel, I respectfully decline to answer based on my constitutional rights. 